Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 22 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to add zero padding to the numbers using Azure Data Factory pipelines. So let's see the requirement in details. So this is a very simple use case where we have some input numbers as you can see in this image. Okay, so the first number is 1, 2, 3, 4 and we have to add zero padding for the last two characters on top of this number okay so that means we have to replace the last two characters or last two numbers by zero and hence the output should become instead of one two three four it should become one two double zero because we are going to add zero padding for last two characters on top of this number okay now similarly the number in second example is 65738 okay so this is some random number that i have given and in this number we have to perform zero padding for last three characters of the number okay that means 738 should be replaced by zero and the output should look like uh, 6500 okay and similarly the last number is having 10 characters and the last five characters should be replaced by zero that means 37628 and then 5 times 0 should appear in the output. Okay. So before moving on to the creation of ADF pipeline, let's try to understand how we will be trying to achieve this requirement. Okay. So let me try to copy this uh, whole table and let me paste it in the Excel sheet. Okay. So that we can understand what exactly we are going to do. Okay. So as an input, we just have these numbers and the padding value that is the number of characters from the end that we need to replace with zero. Okay. So the output should look like this. Let me paste on the output as well. Let me copy this table as well and let me paste it somewhere here. Okay. Yeah. So our approach is very simple. What we need to do is these are the input numbers. Out of these numbers, we are going to fetch out these many numbers from the end. Okay. So suppose in the first case, the number is 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need to fetch the last two characters of this number. That is 3 and 4. Okay. So we need to retrieve 34 from this number. And similarly, from this number, we need to retrieve the last three characters. That is 7, 3, 8. Okay. And from this number, we need to fetch out the last five characters. That is these numbers. Okay. Starting from 7, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Last five characters. Okay. So for better understanding, let's just name this placeholder or this variable as temp. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we, we are going to subtract this temp value from the input number. So what we are going to get is this minus this value. Okay. It will be equal to the output that we want. Okay. And same is the case with other numbers. As you can see, if we subtract this temp value from the input number, we are going to get the desired output. So how did we get this? We just subtracted input number and temp. Okay. So input number minus temp is going to give us the desired output. Okay. So now the only question is how do we get this temp value? So to achieve this value, we are just going to use a substring function. And what this substring function does is it retrieves the part of the string out of the original string according to the value that we provide in this substring function. Okay. So as an input to this substring function, we need to provide three parameters here. The first one will be the string itself out of which we need the part of the string as the output. Okay. So here in the string part, we will give the input number because out of this itself, we need to fetch out some uh, part of the string. Okay. And then we need to provide the starting index value from where we need the part of the string. Okay. So here we need to give the index value and then we need the length of characters we need to fetch. Okay. So we have already used this function a lots of time in our previous videos. So by now you might be quite aware with this function. So in our case, we know that for this number, we need two characters from the end. For this number, we need three characters from the end. For this number, we need five characters from the end. Okay. So basically in the length parameter, we need to provide this padding value itself. Okay. So let me replace this length parameter by padding value. And in place of this index parameter, we need to provide the starting index of this temp value. Okay. And as we are aware that in ADF indexing starts with zero. Okay. So here in this number, suppose one, two, three, four indexing is like zero, one, two, three. Okay. And we need to fetch out the temp value that is 34. So this number we need 
and for this number the starting index is nothing but 2 okay and at this point we might get confused that 2 is nothing but the padding value so we might give uh, padding value as the index parameter as well but if we see the next number that is 6 5 7 3 8 here indexing is 0 1 2 3 4 okay and the padding value is 3 that means we need to get these three numbers as the temporary value okay so here the starting index is 2 again but here we have the padding value as 3 so we can conclude that indexing is not equivalent to padding value it is basically length of input number minus padding value okay that means for this number length is 4 for this number length is 5 and for this number length is 10 okay so if we subtract length of input number minus padding value then we are going to get the desired starting index okay so for example 4 minus 2 is 2 okay so we are getting the exact index here that is 2 okay similarly for the second number 5 minus 3 is 2 then we are getting the required index similarly if we check the third number that is having 10 digits so 10 minus 5 is nothing but 5 okay so at fifth index we have 7 here which is the starting value so basically in place of index our expression will be length of input number minus padding value okay so let me write down the same here instead of index we will have length of input number minus padding value okay padding value and as we discussed string will be nothing but the input number okay so on top of input number we are going to perform this so we are going to use this expression in order to fetch out the temp value okay and once we get this temp value we just need to subtract temp value from the input number in order to get the zero padding that is the desired output okay so let me go ahead and let me start creating the adf pipeline so first of all let me declare two parameters the first one will be input number that is going to be integer type and the second one will be padding value okay so let me write down padding value and this one will also be an integer data type okay and now as we discussed we need this temp value for that we need this expression so let me copy this expression and let me go back to the pipeline and here we will be using a set variable activity in order to use this expression okay so set variable activity is used to modify the value of a variable okay so here we will be modifying value of temp variable let me create a temp variable here okay let me give the data type as a string itself okay and here let me select this temp variable and let me paste the expression that we have copied let me copy it again and let me paste it here and we need to modify this into a valid expression okay so first of all we have this function called substring that we are using so in order to use the function let me cut this and let me uh, select this as you can see we have to give the at the rate symbol okay so let me paste that again so here let me give at the rate symbol at the beginning so that it will identify the function okay and here inside uh, the substring function we need to give the first uh, parameter as the string itself as you can see the expression that it has used substring of some value foo some value okay so out of this string it is going to fetch out from the 10th index till three characters okay so the output is f double o okay so similarly here we need to provide the string value from which we need the part of the string okay so our string value will be nothing but the input number that we have declared here in the parameters okay so let me remove this and let me select this one okay so you can see it has given this expression pipeline parameter dot input number but this number we have defined as an integer and substring uh, function works on top of string value so let me convert it as a string let me close it here and the second parameter is length of input number minus padding value okay so this bracket should be here as we are declaring length of input number okay so we need to use length function on top of input number uh, parameter okay so let me first remove this input number and let me click on this pipeline parameter dot input number okay 
and we are using length function on top of input number let me just recheck here length function okay so it returns number of elements in an array or string so it will give the integer value in return so once we get the length of input number we are going to subtract padding value from that so let me remove this padding value and let me uh, select the padding value from here okay and instead of minus symbol let me use subtract function here okay subtract let me close it here and it is throwing warning because here in the length function we are using integer value here it should also be a string so let me convert this input number to string again so that it will be able to give the length of this string okay and then we are subtracting this padding value from the input number okay we are good and in the last parameter let me remove padding value and let me give the padding value from parameter okay so this is nothing but the number of characters you need to fetch from this string okay so we are good here let me click on okay and now if we try to debug it will ask for the input number and padding value okay so let me first give one two three four and two so let me give one two three four and two so for this case we will be expecting three four as the output okay so let's hit on okay yeah so execution is completed let's check the output so you can see 34 is coming as the output now similarly if we debug for the next value that is this one let me copy this and we are going to extract three characters from the end so we, we will be expecting that the output should be 738 okay so let's wait yeah so execution is finished let's check the output so you can see 738 is coming as the output now similarly the third number is this one and the padding value is 5 let me hit on debug and let me provide this value okay so we will be expecting the output should be 74340 okay so let's check yeah so output is 74340 so we are good we are able to get this temp value for all these three input numbers by using this expression and now all we have to do is we have to subtract this temp value from input number to get the desired output okay so for that we just need another set variable activity let me drag that let me connect these two and let me create another variable saying output okay and here let me select this output value let me give the name of this activity as output and here we just need to subtract temp value from input number okay as we have discussed so basically input number minus this variable temp variable okay so instead of minus let me give subtract function here let me give comma here and let me use sub function we have this function let me search for that so you can see this is a mathematical function which will be subtracting two numbers okay so uh, here the issue is this variable is of string data type let me convert it to integer so that it will be able to perform the mathematical operation and once these two are subtracted it will return the result in integer format itself but this variable is of string data type so here we need to convert it to a string again okay so it will store the output in string format so let me click on okay so now if i hit on debug and if i provide these value one by one so for the first one one two three four uh, padding value is two and desired output is 1200 okay so let me give one two three four padding value two and we are expecting the output should be 1200 okay so let's wait yeah let me check the output so you can see output is coming as expected similarly let's check for the next number padding value is three and desired output is 65000 so let me hit on ok and the desired output is 65 then triple zero let's wait and let's check the output so you can see 65000 is coming as the output now similarly for the last number let me uh, debug the pipeline the padding value is 5 and the expectation is after 8 all the uh, numbers will be 0 okay that is 5 characters of 0 so let's check the output so you can see after 8 there are 5 zeros okay so using set variable activity we are able to achieve this requirement of performing zero padding on top of the input numbers 
so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you